Hello and welcome back to Disco Elysium. Last time we went to sleep after having a big falling out with Kim after we said some horrible things to him in the church. And we chose our political path and of course we chose the worst one because we are the worst. So let's leave the hut and see what Kim has to say to us after he left us alone last night. There he is. I assume we should talk. Yes. No, you don't have anything to say about that. Okay. That's fine. I think he just doesn't really want to think about it. But now, since we are here, there is... Wait, l let me quickly take a look. Do we have that? Items, interact... Have we not? Okay, apparently not. Whatever. Uh, that's fine then. Okay, uh... Let's see, we can go back to Martinez proper and we could talk to some people here, um, you know, pertaining to our political quest, because I don't know how long it takes. Uh, so we should do that now while it's still possible. Oh, these guys are here. Okay. Let me quickly see. I think I should drink some, uh, some morning beer. Just to uh, wake me up before we do that. There we go. Just have that equipped. What else do I want to take? Maybe this. Because there is, you know. I'm not making it particularly hard to read that there is a half light check with those guys. If we get there. I don't know if it's reliant on some other uh, checks succeeding. But we can, we can get a half, a half light check there. And that could help us, I guess. There we go. That's pain threshold, empathy. Okay, pain threshold. That's all the uh, half lead we're gonna get. Let's booze up and talk to these guys. Oh. There you go. That's one brutal motor carriage. Says the young man with piss <clears throat> written on his back. If I were a real skull now, a jacket. Paint it in palm tree livery, then bottom light it, neon style. His companion wears a simple yet elegant slogan, fuck the world. A snazzy shit-ripped skull mobile like this would make a fine trophy. We could like, hang fucking shrunken heads from the side mirrors. Cops heads. Scary tribal shit. Yeah, tribal shit. A cop carriage like this would have proper skull value. <clears throat> While I appreciate the interest you take in my brutal motor carriage, I have to stop you right there. The RCM takes threats directed at its property seriously. I, um, it's just theoretical work, copper. No basis in reality. Man, if we were certified skulls right now... <laughs> yeah, these guys are so unserious. Um, okay, who are you? I can tell you who we're not, cop. We're not snitches or skulls. Okay, Which then. is not to say that the skulls are bitches and On the contrary. The part of this presentation you want to take home with you, cop man, is we're not part of the skulls yet. Who are the skulls? You don't know? What kind of cop are you? Of course I do. I'm just testing you boys. The Skulls are the most vicious gang of the Besmertnay. His voice rings with excitement. The nastiest bunch of psychos ever. Jacking carriages and getting into high-speed chases. Possessing an infinite amount of fuck-all swagger, infamous for their non-verbal modus operandi. Non-verbal? If a Skull spots you, he will pull out his dagger and stab you without saying a word. The Lieutenant's voice is as calm as usual. A testament to the violence and death he's witnessed through the sight of his firearm. They usually occupy the burnt-out quarter in Jamrock. Or you can find them loitering around their brightly painted bottom-lighted vehicles. Ah, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to become a skull. Bottom lights are wretched aggressive. Do you know anything about the murder that, uh, that took place here? Point to the yard. Murder? A man was hanged in the backyard of the Whirling in Rags. Yeah. Sure, we'll gladly tell you everything we know about it. 
It was a man. Okay. Also, he was hanged. Don't fuck around, I am the law. He was hanged from a tree. Yeah, I mean, duh. These punks don't know anything. Let's just move along. Okay. Hey, stop right there. How does one know anything? Uh, what does that mean? Or I'm not going to entertain you with this any longer. Uh, what does that mean? Fucking philosophy, man. <clears throat> you can do aggressive shit with philosophy. Justify shit. Uh, do you guys know Cindy the Skull? Oh, yeah. Cindy's a right proper skull. Uh, the young man's eyes glaze over his voice filled with longing. Yeah. A true artist of the future. Just like Arno Van Eyck. We know that guy. We know that guy well at this point. Uh, by the way, if you see Cindy, give her our regards. He adds, returning from whatever void he was just visiting. The lieutenant on your left is unusually lenient toward them. I see you kids are into anodic dance music. Oh man, yeah. We're not fucking kids, man. <laughs> sure. Be wary of the abyss. His blonde friend adds ominously and points to his temple. Uh, why? Probably because of how non-verbal their mode of operation is going to be. It's a threat. A threat? Good, I like those. Don't fuck with me, boys. I'm one of the bad cops. I just want to talk about music and now there's a conflict all of a sudden. Uh, it's too much. Nervously shake your head. I mean, I think that, that one's funny, but this one is more... Um, in character, I suppose? Sure. Whoa! Come on, man! We're just talking here! Just words? Nothing wrong with that. Of course. Yeah, no need to throw your authority in our faces. You wanna talk? Let's talk, boys. Ask them. He liked how you decisively shut down a situation that could have turned into a farce. Okay. Did that cost us a, uh... Oh, we're at minus 20. Oh, oh my god. Oh boy. Uh, why aren't there more, uh, more skulls in Martinez? Your rhetoric is confusing. Are you a part of the skulls or not? Enough about the scullery then. Uh, why aren't there more skulls in Martinez? The Union does their share of policing in Martinez, at least where gangs are concerned. That's why there isn't much organized crime around here. Apart from the Unions themselves, of course. Of course. Don't you worry about that. We're gonna make up for the deficit. Sure. I'm, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will fuck the world. Yeah, we are. Uh, the young man exchange approving nods. Uh, your rhetoric is confusing. Are you a part of the Skulls or not? We're not franchise Skulls. Well, not yet. Once we get our name out there, we'll have a chance to join them. And what makes you think that the organization would accept you? Because we can be just as psycho and vicious. You'll see. Sure. But in a non-threatening, and definitely legal way. The other one quickly adds and whispers something to his friend. We'll fuck the system from the inside later. Just be cool now. The damage will be tenfold. Right on, fuck. So what's happening now? Um, enough about this scullery then. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's with the jackets? What about them? Uh, let's turn to the blonde youth. Uh, why does your jacket ha have uh, piss <clears throat> written on it? Uh, or turn to the dark-haired youth. Why do you have fuck the world written on your jacket? Actually, forget about it. Let's ask about uh, piss guy first. Well, first off, it's a statement and not necessarily something that characterizes me as a person, even though the statement has character. And I do like piss. Well, <laughs> thanks for that information. The word piss f epitomizes the struggle taking place in the world. Things being defined as they seem, not as they are. And, I guess, it's also about communal spirit, the future, and truly appreciating our differences. Also, you've got to admit, it catches the eye. And since the Grand Piper is slowly but steadily moving towards basing the economy on it, attention, it is imperative that the medium itself convey the message. Uh, what? What I mean by this is, we are all piss f and that the world is inherently meaningless. Okay, uh, let's turn to the dark-haired youth. Why do you have fuck the world written on your jacket? Like I said before, 
many men keep searching for the one, for so-called true love, which is actually just obsession masquerading as kinship. The thrill of the chase, the hollowness that fills your chest cavity after catching it. Okay. To catch a fish, you'll need to hurl the law many times, and even then it isn't certain that you'll get anything. If you blow up the lake, though, blow it up. You get more fish in a shorter time. And for time is of the essence and fleeting ever so quickly, one must think of a way to fuck the whole world and not get caught up in fucking someone. Definitely. Because when one fucks everything, he fucks nothing. And that, to me, feels glorious. Sticking your dick into the void. Okay, yeah. Very coherent. Thank you very much. Is it a coincidence that here we have two badass jackets and two badass cops? Hey, Kim. Yes? Do you think it's a coincidence? What is? Uh, there are two of us and two of these jackets. What are you implying? Uh, which one would you wear? I'm not sure I understand you, detective. Are you more of a piss or a fuck the world kind of guy? Neither. Come on, Kim, it's just a mental exercise. Fine, if only to end this discussion. Theoretically, <clears throat> if I were a juvenile delinquent, if I were to already be down that path, I think piss <laughs> is the stronger of the two statements. Uh, no way. If anything, I'm the piss <clears throat> in this scenario. Uh, that works. I feel more like a fuck the world kind of guy. Um... Let's go with the second one because I cannot imagine this guy right here referring to himself as as that, as the blurred out word here. So uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say that works. I feel more like a fuck the world kind of guy. Seems about right, especially considering your heroic exit attempts. That's an origin story for a dynamic duo right there. It sure is. So are we done here, or? You don't need us around for your secret whisper party, do you? 92%. Ask for the jackets, for yourself and the lieutenant. No, no, no. Don't ask anything. Be subtle and scary. The boys dream about being skulls. Use that. Wait, how? Suggest their massive skulls. Come on. Boys, with those jackets, you're gonna be Skull Kings in no time. What? No! Skulls don't have kings. I think. And we're not even in yet. Yeah, man, keep your voice down. Skulls don't take it lightly when folks pretend to be them. We're not even prospects yet. Not even prospects and already aspiring to be kings? Whoa, you boys are <laughs> ambitious. Only prospects and already planning a coup in the skulls. You're destined to go far. He gets it. Passive aggressive flattery. Yeah, Kim is pretty damn good at this stuff. Shut the fuck up! Are you trying to get us killed? Now bring it to the jackets and, yes, start shouting. Yes, we wanna be a cool killer's uh. We want to be a cool killer skulls too, like you guys, but we don't have skull jackets. Please be quiet. What? What do you want? Th the jackets? You got it. No need for cruelty. Yes, the jackets are skull king. Make shrunken heads out of us. Or you offer us the jackets like that? It would be impolite to refuse. <laughs> let's, let's go for it. Fuck you, man. Take them then. Okay, uh, you offer us your jackets like that, it would be impolite to refuse. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I get it. Skulls don't really wear slogans anyway. This was stupid. Fuck. The other sighs deeply. The lieutenant watches the boys take their jackets off with mild amusement. Turn to Kim. Since you said you're more of a piss kind of guy, I'll take the other one. Yeah, sure. Let's... Mm. 
Let's offer it. He's not gonna I'm take it I'm absolutely okay with not having either one. Thank you. Why not? They're a pair. We could raise... Uh, we could really raise hell. Go undercover. Hard. This case doesn't require us to go undercover or raise hell. <clears throat> In fact, I don't think the jackets will be useful at all. I just wanted them to not have them anymore. Cold-hearted cop. Well, whatever. I'll take both of them then. Do. I'm fine with that. The jackets are meant to complete each other. If a man was standing alone on a street corner with his written on his back, it'd just be an individual that has taken a liking to urine <clears throat> and fuck the world all on its own is, frankly, generic. That is true. I don't know, Eric. It's cold out. <clears throat> The dark-haired young man just stands there, defeated. The wind blows. Yeah, let's get out of here. The cops fucked us. That'll show you. Okay, let's take a look at the jackets real quick. There's the leather jacket, Piss, uh, piss F. Um, plus one drama, no fucks given, minus one authority. Wait, I'm a detective. A leather jacket that quite recently belonged to a young man who possessed some intimate knowledge on the human condition. It has his nom de guerre written on the back. It's quite a statement. Leather jacket, fuck the world. Plus one half light, darkening world. Minus one rhetoric, inelegant statement. <clears throat> a leather jacket that quite recently belonged to a hoodlum who understood love for what it really is. It has the hoodlum's nom de guerre written on the back. It's quite a statement. Um. Sure, let's... No, let's put the fuck the world jacket on. Now that's a look, isn't it? Our, uh... Man from Yelmdal shirt. Our horrific necktie. The fuck the world leather jacket. Our fallen hat, pants and gloves. And Franco-Nigerian cavalry boots. Great stuff. And a bottle of booze and a... And a plastic bag in our hands. We are true heroes. You finally made it. Haven't you? People point fingers at you and whisper to each other when you pass by, wondering to themselves. Where did that man get such a cool jacket? Did he receive it upon graduating the Ecole Normale Supérieure de Badassery? Is he dangerous? Damn right I'm dangerous. You are very dangerous, my friend. Dangerous and cool. In fact, no one dares to say a single thing about the jacket. But believe me, they are all very impressed. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Now let's head over to uh, René. We want to talk to him about fascism. What a wonderful time this is going to be. Your munching has ruined my concentration. René, I need to go back in time. Can you help me? The lieutenant flashes you a quick side glance. What are you up to now? Yeah, you're not gonna like it, Kim. What? The old soldier scowls at you, unamused. He thinks you're playing a joke on him. Now, now. I'm sure the officer means it figuratively. Like a forensic technic or something, right? I'm dead serious. Can you help me get back to the time when love was still possible? Uh, I'm not kidding. This is forever, Shaw. I need to return to the past. Right, right, uh, forensic technique. Can you help me out or not? Um, this is for Revachol. Bon song, son. You must have a loose screw up there or something. Sounds like you really mean it. All right. I will entertain this fantasy if you tell me what interest does an RCM officer have in time travel. Oh, you're in for a treat, officer. Seeing the playful side of old René he is about as rare as a red rainbow. Okay. Love, it's about love. Men have lost their way. I want to guide them back like a beacon. I'm not sure, to be honest, just going with the flow. Uh, men have lost their way. I want to guide them back like a, uh, like a beacon. Even after the revolution, after the beachhead, there was a chance. Had we just stayed true to our values? It happened slowly, like a seedling growing into a tree. Tiny incremental steps. Imperceptible till the thicket was so thick you couldn't clear it with a flamethrower. I know. I can get history back on the right track. I just want a second chance. Gonna do it right this time. 
I know I can get history back on the right track. The right track? This is the right track. The only track. This is the world we shaped. A reflection of what we are. Cowardly, ugly, and numb. And there are no second chances. We don't deserve them. You can't just go back and restart. That would make everything meaningless. A shadow of pain comes over his face. There's something substantial moving in him, trying to get out. What is it? Regret. Oof. 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 That's not good. Our pain threshold is six. We can... We are already boozed up. Oh god. Wait. Why, why are we not buffed by the alcohol? Strange. Uh, we should, by all means, still have the alcohol buff. Why is it... Yeah, plus two physique. Pain threshold is physique. But our base is six, and this is at six, so we should have eight. Right? Oh, no. Right, it's boosted by... <laughs> My bad, my bad. It's boosted by the alcohol already. Okay, let's put two points in there. 28% is still not great. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. 42, come on now. Him. Him or who? Him? This tenderness in the Carabineer's look. Tenderness that's curdled into pain or something darker. Even worse, a love aborted and smothered, stamped beneath his brilliant boot heel. You catch the old Carabineer's gaze, slowly leaving his opponent's wrinkled face as his dark eyes meet yours. Whatever turmoil raged in him a moment ago is quelled for now wheeled back into the darkest unexplored depths of his mind never meant to be shared seen or confronted our lives are unique and i have neither the means nor the will to help you change that but i will gladly assist you with police matters the carabineer is too old and feeble to be useful but you will carry on mouvere tempore kingsman for the tenacious no road is impossible. Okay, interesting. The old carabineer looks at you with weary expectation. Uh, thank you for your time. All right, interesting. Okay, I assume Measured is going to be the guy we really get into uh, this stuff with. He seems the most eager to discuss topics, aside from this guy. Yeah, let's talk to him as well right now. Hello, compatriot. You have something to discuss? Um, I'm trying to turn back time. Can you help me, Brüter? This again? Really? The lieutenant looks frustrated. My friend, I don't know what you're after, but I have to tell you, there's no turning back time. I've seen the demographic report. I know what our experts say. Our greatest days as a people are behind us, and we're not going back. What about the ancient fascist magic? Uh, trust me, brother. I've done the research. Fascist magic just ain't true. So Mejad was right. Haplogroup B4's time is over. Nah, uh, that's bullshit. We can't turn back time. But that doesn't mean we can just surrender to the savages. It's about preserving our heritage, our birthright. What am I supposed to do then? That's the question, isn't it? People think you and me got it so easy, but the reality is it's fucking hard to be a regular guy these days. Sure, definitely. The rumbling in your stomach says there's something not quite right with this one. Is he too pathetic even for our standards? You know, I get funny looks from people all the time. I know they're looking at my gut. I can see that. Big fucking deal. A guy put on a little weight. Who cares? 
He's really got himself worked up now. Dangerous stores of pent-up emotion there. He grinds a cigarette butt into the pavement and quickly lights another. Ooh, that's not good. Logic skill check. 3% because uh, we're a proud Hjelmdal fanboy. Ah, and we can't change clothes while we're here. Can't smoke a cigarette or anything like that. I don't think there's anything we can do. We don't have any skill points anymore. Okay. Let's try for the double sixes. Did you not hear what he said? There's a culture war raging out there, and this unlikely hero might be our last best chance. That's all this is about. Um... I must steal myself or look around. I don't see a culture war, though. Let's actually go with the second one here. I think that's more interesting. That's how badly you're losing. You don't even realize it's happening. Thank God this hero is here, fighting for all of us. Uh, I'm satisfied with this conclusion. No, I think there was something else. No, I think there was something else. I, I, I want to go that, uh, down that path now. You're still with us, brother. You're standing there like a glue sniffer. Uh, I ask you again, brother. Can you help me turn back time? Time, yeah? Listen, man. Do you even understand how hard we've got it? How completely stacked the whole rotten deck is against people like you and me? He takes a furious drag of his cigarette. He's not listening at all. Just circling the drain. Uh, time lorry man, can you reverse it? The lorry man looks at you like he can't decide whether he wants to smash something or break down in tears. The silence is heavy and uncomfortable. No, I can't help you. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why. Cause there's no point, you hear me? Unless you believe in ancient fascist magic like some wannabe magus. Actually, it's called extra physics, and you don't need to be a magus to access it. The lieutenant doesn't utter a word, but his face says, I told you so. This fool is a colossal waste of time. There's no kingsman inside him, just self-loathing and entitlement. Let's keep searching. Okay.